Hi guys. In this video, this is part six, excuse me, of the essential guide to linking your Apple calendar and reminders to your existing digital planner or templates using shortcuts. Now, um, this is part six, open reminders. It's very simple. The purpose of this is to, um, so that way you can paste in a link anywhere you want it, anywhere in your planner, notebook, template, whatever. And when you tap on it, it'll just open reminders, open your list, just like that. So you can cross them off, add, look at them, whatever. Okay. So that way it's just, you, you're, you're keeping all the workflow in your planner, notebook, template, whatever. Okay. Um, again, this is part of a huge resource. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go and watch the overview that has all the information you need before you get here. Um, you're going to want to go to my website, the link, everything is in the description of this video on my website. Where is my website? Here it is. Each shortcut follows the exact same, um, like steps. I have easy to follow steps. Uh, what it talks about the shortcut tells you to watch the video. You can choose to create the shortcut yourself. Okay. And I show what that is. This isn't it. This is just an example. Um, or you can get the shortcut from the link that I provide. I share it with you and that way it'll install onto your iPad in your shortcuts and then you can follow along. So you don't have to actually learn how to do shortcuts. Okay. Um, this is the link. But before you click or, you know, add the link, click on the link, whatever, you need to go into settings to be able to allow that to happen. So in your settings, you're going to want to go to shortcuts and you're going to want to turn on private sharing. And that allows um, that link that I've given you to download onto your iPad, into your shortcuts. Okay. Um, then we can follow along. All right, so let's get into it. Again, this is um, open reminders. It's super, super simple. Let's see. So when you download it, it says open reminders. You tap on the three dots. And in all of my shortcuts, I have comments with instructions, okay? So the first comment says, use this if you'd like to just simply open the reminders app and have it slide over anytime you want to add or view your list. Okay. And it's very, very simple. You know, you don't have to, I mean, obviously you could just have your reminders screen open, but if you don't want to, okay, you can tap on this button and it'll do it for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do, it says open app, select your app below. So tap on the app where it says app, and then you're going to find your, your, the app you're using. I've tested these on GoodNotes, NoteShelf, and Notability. So it works on all of them. So I'm going to say open GoodNotes. Now it says select the Reminders app below, open app. Okay. So we're going to find Reminders. Now, do you see the little arrow? Tap on that. Be sure it says slide over. I've programmed it to do slide over, but you just never know. Now you want to test it. Okay. So up here, oops. There's the play button, click play. So I clicked play and you can see it did it for me. That shortcut works. Now, if you are in NoteShelf or Notability, you're gonna wanna stop and watch the videos that I have specifically for NoteShelf, Notability and others um, because the process is different than GoodNotes, okay? If you're in GoodNotes, you see the comment down below. It says the link URL you will enter in your app is, and then I give it to you, where it says name equals open reminders. You're going to want to make sure that this name matches this name. Otherwise, it won't work. They have to match exactly. Okay, so if you've created the shortcut yourself and you gave it a name, you just make sure that that name and this match. Okay, so you're going to copy this. It's also on my website, so if you don't want to copy that, you can go to my website where it's also located, and you're going to want to go into GoodNotes. So one tip for you is I recommend 
um, that you create a template or create something where you have all your shortcuts that you plan on using and you just keep them there just for ease. So once you've made the shortcut, you don't have to tinker around with it anymore. You can just come over here. You've made the shortcut. You have the link, the icon, etc. You can just use your lasso tool and go. Okay. Um, anyway, so I have already done that. You can see. So I'm finding the one that says Erica open reminders because I added my name. I have my own um, separate from yours. So this is, I want to copy this. All right. So now we have the shortcut name or the link URL. You're going to press and hold until you see add link and you're going to click add link. In GoodNotes, you can add an internal link or an external link. And we're going to add an external link to a website. It automatically populates with GoodNotes. We're going to delete that and we are going to paste in our link. So you can see it says open reminders. Now you're going to make sure you click return. If you don't click return, it's going to automatically revert back to the GoodNotes link that they put in. And we don't want that. Okay, I don't know why it made so tiny, but it did. So if you see way here, see the little link? Tap on it just to make sure it's going to run. Yes. Okay, cool. You can, um, we'll just do it. You can see it. Okay, it works. Now, if you want to give it an icon, you can do that. So I do. So this is open reminders. So I'm going to use the little bell. All the icons you see on the screen right now on this side I've made and I put in a zip file for you. If you'd like to download them, you can. You can use whatever you want. Anything that fits your planner, notebook, whatever, you can. Um, this is not specific to just my products. This will work for anything. So um, now you have this little piece right here. We're going to take that. We're going to lasso and copy all of it. And we'll put it into our planner. So I'll put it right here just for fun. There. Okay. So I'm going to tap on it. Make sure it works again. And there you go. It's just a very easy way to open your Minders app in your planner, notebook, or template. So I hope this video helped. I have a ton more. So go. It's either in my YouTube description or on my website. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.